real quick, I want to thank the sponsor for today's video being Surfshark VPN. That's right, guys. Surfshark VPN has been keeping me safe on the internet for so long now, and they've been keeping my friends safe, my family safe. It's been awesome. It's unlimited devices. There's a money back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to lose. Things are starting to open back up again, so with that comes travel. And I'm so excited to get back on the road, and when you're using those public Wi-Fi networks, be sure to protect yourself. That's right, guys. Use a VPN. There are lots of hackers out there that are stealing your data, tracking your data, and that's just not what you want happen. On our devices now, we have so many like credit cards, we have um, login data, just so much important stuff, including addresses, which you don't want getting in the wrong hands. What's really cool is when you are traveling, you can always change your geography so you can access different shows, whether it be like Disney Plus, blocked websites. You can even use it for shopping to actually save money by using a more domestic or international market. So everyone, don't miss your opportunity. Grab Surfshark right now. That's right, using that code on screen Joel H at that link which is surfshark.deals forward slash Joel H and that's going to get you 83% off and three months free. So that use that code right now click that link down below and that let's get to the rest of the video. Hey everyone Joel Hans here and today we're on our way to Poblano's which is kind of in the Sarasota-ish area um, to do a big taco challenge, guys. So this is a apparently ridiculous taco challenge. Um, so it hasn't been beaten in a few years and it's like 20 tacos, but they're doused in cheese. Like apparently there is so, 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 so much cheese. And if you know, I'm not the biggest cheese fan, so this may be interesting. But ultimately, a challenge is a challenge, so we're gonna go take it off. We're gonna see what we can do. Um, there's definitely big tacos there, a hard shell taco. Um, so that's pretty interesting. I've never done a hard shell taco challenge. But yeah, wish me luck. Let's see what happens. We'll give you some more info here momentarily. I believe we're gonna have 40 minutes, perhaps. And if you eat them, you get it for free. And I believe you also get some like uh, meal certificates, kind of like gift cards or something. So let's get to it. Let's find out. Let's have some fun. And let's go. Everybody, so anyway, here's the challenge. Guys, this is a cheese challenge. I don't even see the tacos. Look at this. This is literally, like, there's a couple pounds of cheese on this. This is intense. Um, some of you will know how I feel about cheese. But anyway, so we're at 40 minutes, guys. Definitely, it smells delicious. I do have some salsa here. Got a salsa verde. I also got a red salsa. That's about it. Um, you know, wish me luck. It's a lot of cheese. All right, everybody. So, uh, yeah, I guess the record is about 35 minutes. Um, so maybe we'll beat it. Guys, but I'm dead, and this is a lot of cheese. So, anyway, we'll do what we can. We'll have a lot of fun. Um, so, yeah, I guess we're ready to go. So, what do you say we count? We start at a count of... Uh, Five, four, three, two, one. Let's eat some cheese. This is the cheese challenge with side tacos. I mean, it tastes good and cheesy. At least the taco means something. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at Bradenton, Florida at Poblano's guys doing this absolutely ridiculous taco challenge. Like I don't even really know where to begin with it. I've never seen a taco challenge like this ever and it was definitely not quite what I was expecting. I understood that, you know, the guy said like there's a lot of cheese and that's the hardest part of it, but oh my gosh, there like really was that much cheese. I just, I couldn't even fathom it when this came out. Um, so this is ultimately their taco challenge. So it's 20 tacos, 20 hard shell tacos, um, ground beef filling, a um, little bit of uh, lettuce, tomato, uh, maybe sour cream in there. So pretty standardized in that regard, but then lots of cheese. Wow, a lot of cheese. Put it that way. I would seriously say that there was more weight and cheese on this plate than anything else. It was absolutely insane. Um, I mean, it definitely made it a challenge, especially for somebody like myself who really does not enjoy the flavor of cheese, especially this kind of cheese, especially as it was in this quantity. That being said, um, 40 minutes to do the challenge. It had not been completed in a few years. There were a couple winners years ago. I mean, they figured again the record was somewhere about 30, 35 minutes around those lines. Salsa Verde. Not bad. 
you actually get really solid prizes for completing this challenge. Uh, not only was it the free meal, um, but it was also, uh, it was three or five, I forget, but like entree coupons. So like that's significant. I mean, like three to five entrees. I think it actually might've been five. Like those, that's worth a bit, good bit of like money. Like it's good value. So if you think you can complete this challenge, I mean, you know, let's just say the steaks might be a little high and the cheese is high. Probably a couple minutes in, this is a never ending pile of cheese, that's for sure. Two minutes and 25 seconds. There we go. I have to give a huge shout out to the uh, staff there. Everybody was excellent. They were very, very friendly. They were very accommodating, um, which really helps make the experience. Again, a place which seemed happy to serve their challenge. And this uh, challenge, or at least as we were told, like it wasn't beefed up at all for us. Like this is the way they do their tacos. Um, they do have kind of like a Taco Tuesday, I think it was. And I think even like you could order a specialized taco like this but definitely for all the challenges that's what makes it you know really like the taco challenge is different than their normal tacos is all this cheese um which i like i said i just i don't even know how much cheese was on there but it was so much um so basically it's a cheese challenge i'd say more than a taco challenge but um you can tell i'm really enjoying the flavor of the cheese no seriously though um like i said i'm not a big cheese fan but the tacos themselves tasted good uh, i had some good Little diet coke there to help me get that cheese down the salsas were great um, and like i said again just the staff the environment everything was really good in that regard so absolutely no complaints um, so bradenton it is kind of in the uh, it's like a little bit north of sarasota um, so if you're kind of in that area passing by doing all that rounds maybe driving down to fort myers from tampa you'll probably go right on by it um, and that's where essentially what actually happened to us we we're driving by and realized, hey, there was actually a challenge close by. So we investigated it and there we go. So really starting to dive into salsas at this point, try to switch up from some flavors. But besides that, I didn't really have much of a strategy besides just eat the tacos. Um, and that was about it. So eat the tacos, get them done. Hopefully uh, not, uh, you know, get blocked up with all that cheese and that's about it everybody. So with that, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. I hope you enjoy. Let me know down below guys, is this your level of cheese on the tacos? Um, because I think you might know how I feel. At that, let's get to the rest of the video. I think there's more cheese on the plate than on the tacos. I don't think it ever ends. We love cheese. Whatever for time? Five minutes. About five minutes in, guys. Literally a never ending plate of cheese and tacos. Woo! Let's keep going. Flip over the Diet Coke, guys. Cheese is... Cheese is cheese. Oh, it's so much better. All right, about nine minutes in. I think I got like maybe seven tacos left, six tacos. Then piles of just cheese. Oh my gosh. Cheese overload, guys.
do, man. Got 13 a bit minutes in, guys. We are coming to an M. Slowly but surely. Last one. Then this. And everybody, if you watch at this point in the video, I want to thank you so much for not skipping through it. And down below, guys, because we really enjoyed these little tricks on the skippers, comment down below. I didn't know it snowed in Florida. That's right, snowing in Florida. All right, tacos are done. Basically, just a pile of cheese left. Ugh. Let's get it done. Eating the straight cheese, guys. Woo! And we're finished. About 17, 20, something like that. Guys, a very cheesy challenge. Whole jumpers. They said the cheese was the difficult part, and I can see why. Definitely a lot of cheese. But hey, if you like cheese, let me know down below, guys. What is your cheese to meat ratio? Mine is 100% meat, 0% cheese. But everybody, really, really enjoyed the food here. Great thanks to all the staff. Great location, great environment. So if you're ever in the area, please feel free to stop by, guys. And that, until next time, stay happy and hungry, happy eating. Probably get a meal for free, which is pretty cool. And I think it, you said you get a, uh, a gift certificate or something like that? Yeah, you get free, free uh, entree parties. Plus, we also get some like free meal entree ticket thing, you think? So that's pretty cool. So yeah, huge thanks to everybody here, guys. Until next time, say hi about the hungry, happy eating. I don't know how the cheese is going to make me feel, but maybe I'll have to dig it later. Thanks, everybody. Until next time. everyone thank you so much for watching today's video i really appreciate it if you click my face right here you can subscribe yes that's right click my face subscribe guys it helps me out it helps you out then you don't miss an upload and hopefully i can meet you when i come to your city also click a video right here i specifically pick two videos yes that's right two videos specifically for you right here so click a video right now get that going and it's going to end so click one quick let's go let's go and have a great day